It is the most anticipated stellar death of our time when the giant star Betelgeuse transforms into an explosive supernova. It will shine in the sky as brightly as the full moon and can even be seen in daylight. Unfortunately, however, we do not know when exactly this brutal demise will take place. After the stellar colossus was almost pronounced dead, after some mysterious fluctuations in brightness, it seemed to recover well, until now. Betelgeuse is again attracting attention with mysterious displays of light, and a new study concludes that the shoulder star of Orion could explode much earlier than expected. In 2019 and 2020, the excitement surrounding Betelgeuse was boundless. The giant star did indeed make headlines with a drastic loss of brightness, which many experts interpreted as a harbinger of the approaching supernova. There is no question that the explosion of the gigantic celestial body will be an overwhelming spectacle. After all, the red supergiant, which is only 650 light years away, is 800 times the diameter of the sun and already shines 10,000 times brighter than our source of warmth and life in visible light. As a result, Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the night sky, which is why the development that began in October 2019 seemed all the more confusing. The star's luminosity is normally estimated to be between 0.3 and 0.4 magnitudes. To put this into context, the unit magnitude, or mag for short, indicates the apparent brightness of a star without taking into account the distance of the celestial body. The smaller the mag value of the star, the brighter it appears to us in the sky. When Betelgeuse dimmed, the researchers recorded a drop in brightness down to 1.12-89 mag, while the temperature of the stellar giant dropped by a good 100 degrees in the same breath. In detail, the drop in luminosity was so significant that it could even be seen with the naked eye, causing Betelgeuse to slip to 21st place on the nightly star chart. But how is it that astronomers associate such a spectacle with an imminent supernova? Well, on the one hand, there is the fact that the so-called Orion Shoulder Star has reached the last stage in its development as a red supergiant, which will inevitably end in a powerful explosion. On the other hand, there is the fact that this can be announced by strong expansion combined with a decrease in brightness. But this is precisely where it gets tricky because the astronomical truth also includes the fact that so far there have simply been no precise observations of supernovae before their explosion. In light of this, we also don't know whether the dimming occurs several years before the supernova or just a few hours before. What we do know, however, is that Betelgeuse should not disappear from the cosmic scene at that time because we would inevitably have noticed it. According to the experts, Betelgeuse will shine as brightly as the full moon for weeks. The dying colossus would be so bright that it would be almost impossible to see the other stars in its vicinity. And since it would be the brightest supernova in the history of observation and the one closest to Earth, it could even be seen in daylight. The biggest drop in brightness in the last two years poses new puzzles, but if the dimming five years, Ego was not linked to a final explosion, what was it caused by? Well, dust. Subsequent observations with the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that a huge plasma eruption created a huge dust cloud that darkened the star by almost two-thirds, and... Although Betelgeuse, as a stellar oldie, regularly ejects large amounts of stellar material, this event was something else. A combination of strong convection and expansion probably caused the plasma eruption to be two to three times stronger than usual and resulted in a loss of mass 30 million times greater than that of the Sun. Soon after, Betelgeuse was to return to its original luminosity and yet it still had one or two brightness puzzles in store for us in the period that followed. In detail, the development in 2023 was reversed, and the star shone significantly brighter than average from then on. But true to the motto, where there is light, there is also shadow, 
the celestial body lost a drastic amount of luminosity again a few months ago. And although the brightness did not change quite as drastically as in 2019 or 2020, the researchers still recorded the lowest luminosity in the last two years. In view of this, the question arises again as to whether this development could be related to an imminent supernova. And yet the answer this time is we don't know. No expert can currently say with absolute certainty whether the giant star will explode tomorrow or in a million years. The bottom line is that it's theoretically even possible that Betelgeuse has long since made its blazing exit and that the light of the last stellar act has simply not yet reached us. And lo and behold, a study from 2023, actually, it comes to the conclusion that Betelgeuse may explode much earlier than previously thought. In the run-up to this, a research team from Japan's Tohoku University in Sendai examined the pulsation of the star and, in doing so, uncovered a series of astonishing circumstances that indicate that Betelgeuse is much older than previously assumed. As the outer layers of Orion's shoulder star pulse, this results in relatively regular brightness variations, the most prominent of which last 2200 and 420 days respectively. Until now, astronomers had interpreted the shorter interval as the star's heartbeat, which suggests that we are dealing with a younger celestial body. But what if the 2200-day period actually represents the true stellar pulse? Well, that would mean, first of all, that Betelgeuse is even bigger than generally assumed. Expressed in numbers, the 800-fold solar diameter would thus turn into a diameter 1,200 times larger than that of our Sun. This circumstance would also mean that Betelgeuse is further advanced in its life cycle and that its supernova is inevitably approaching. Will Betelgeuse soon explode? The fact that stars transform the night sky into an endless sea of radiant points is due to the spectacular processes that take place in their interiors. Stars shine because they fuse hydrogen into helium at their core, and as soon as the hydrogen supply in the core is exhausted, helium is used to create carbon, which is burned with increasing age to form heavier elements. The Japanese study authors used computer simulations to show how these blazing celestial bodies develop from their birth to the last chapters of their lives, and at what stage they begin to pulsate. In doing so, they brought an astonishing fact, to light. In fact, all the recorded pulses from Betelgeuse can be assigned to a much later stage than previously assumed, the carbon-burning stage. The study states that a few dozen years after the carbon in the core is exhausted, a core collapse is expected, leading to a supernova explosion. Unfortunately, it was not possible to narrow down the expected date of the star's death more precisely. The researchers only estimate that the time until carbon depletion is possibly less than a few hundred years. Compared to other predictions, that the supernova will not occur for another 100,000 years, this is significantly earlier. And yet, it should be mentioned that the study results from Japan are by no means free from criticism. For example, astrophysicist Morgan McLeod criticizes that the information does not match other studies of the star. To be more precise, if we consider the 2,200-day cycle as the main heartbeat, then Betelgeuse would become too large. So, at least some question marks still hang over the new findings. However, it's possible that Betelgeuse is not only accompanied by question marks, but also by something completely different. After all, new analyses suggest that it has a partner star whose existence has escaped humanity for thousands of years. In this case, too, it was the longer 2200-day fluctuation that became the focus of astronomical interest. A recent reevaluation by a team from the New York-based Flatiron Institute revealed some surprising anomalies, such as the fact that the 2200-day cycle in the star's light curve is subject to a different rhythm than the subtle 400-day pulsations. However, the scientists were unable to identify any accompanying phenomena that would be associated with causes such as rotation sequences, magnetic field effects, or convection currents. And so, it came about that, at the end of the day, 
only one explanation remained that could plausibly explain the long periodic fluctuations, the existence of a smaller companion star. Conversely, the long periodic brightness variations would thus reflect the orbits of the partner. As soon as it disappears behind Betelgeuse, as seen from our perspective, the cycle is at the low point of its brightness. On the other hand, if the companion is next to Betelgeuse, the luminosities of the two stars combine and the brightness reaches its maximum. At the same time, the companion star could also act as a natural dust shifter, influencing the distribution of dust clouds and thus playing an additional role in Betelgeuse's brightness changes. But even assuming that this is the case, how did we overlook the companion star for so long? This is most likely due to its low mass. According to experts' calculations, it weighs just 1.7 solar masses, making it almost 12 times lighter than its much larger counterpart. Furthermore, the companion star is thought to orbit Betelgeuse at a fairly small distance, corresponding to just 2.43 Betelgeuse radii. As a result, the companion is literally outshone by Betelgeuse, and its pulsation and brightness fluctuations further obscure its identification. Fortunately, however, complicated does not mean impossible. Researchers are now hoping to use large telescopes to uncover further evidence of the companion's existence and perhaps even determine what kind of star it is. With these exciting revelations about Betelgeuse and its potential companion, the mysteries of the cosmos continue to unravel.